Hello and welcome to Let's Try. We're trying Quasi Morph. Uh, this game has undergone a couple of names, um, name changes, I think. It, <laughs> but I can't remember what it was. Called, Quasi Morphosis at one point. I think it had one other name. Anyway, it's Quasi Morph now. Um, I've been meaning to uh, take a look at this for a while. It's gotten quite a few updates since I last looked at it. Um, if you want to check out, I think it's Quasimorphosis on my channel, um, then you'll see the last or previous iteration of this game. Uh, you'll also find in the description of this video a link to this game if you want to check it out. But um, what is this? It's basically a, a uh, let's do this, extraction, survival, horror, traditional roguelike. I think it's fair to put all of those monikers on this game. Uh, people are going to say that it may not might not be a traditional roguelike and I understand why and you, that's totally fair. But for me it's it's got all of the same kind of values of a traditional roguelike that I come to uh, expect and really when you talk about genres you're just talking about expectations, right? So, let's have a look at it. We're going to do uh, our cutscene. Tears and blood. Liars, tyrants, idealists. They all tried to bring happiness on the edge of a sword. We waited for liberation from the shackles of fate and were ready to go through the last judgment for it. Not for the glorious death for the eternal kingdom, love, or the Lord, but for a way to step off the path of suffering. But when the apocalypse came, we shrugged our shoulders and started profiting from it as usual. The creatures lurking in the depths of space didn't seem scarier than our own world. Armed with the hope that the darkest hour comes before dawn, we try to survive until the first rays of the sun. I have to say, I haven't seen that cutscene yet, and that was uh, that was really nice. So um, there's no like permadeath in this game, like. There is. There is and there isn't. You're playing as a clone. You're playing as a clone of uh, kind of the collective experience of your main character. So I believe what that means is that if you extract, you extract with some experience and maybe it becomes permanent. Um, but, uh, you know, things like equipment, you're sending down equipment that you've accrued uh, over time, over multiple missions, and if you die, you lose that permanently. So there is a kind of permanency in your loss, but not as much as in like um you know a traditional roguelike but more than like a roguelite like a hades or something like that uh our scanners see several ways to solve this problem first we there is a main elevator connecting to the cargo dock to the control center but the number of biosignatures at the elevator is extremely high obviously there's a quite strong security there secondly there is a bypass route through the stairs and warehouse level i would recommend using the second option as our main plan but if you feel confident you can act as you think best well i actually took my uh, a stationary turret which is a fairly i would say expensive take for our character so i might end up using that i'm just gonna go ahead and switch to our pistol or our actual like assault rifle and i'm gonna be playing things slow this game definitely encourages slow methodical play but we're gonna move th through here one by one. Uh, there's a little bit of a crass humor. I think I'm collecting water from the toilet and there was also an unmentionable that served as a crafting material. So I don't know what we're gonna be crafting with that, but I know that I it was the first thing I dropped when I found something more useful. But there is crafting in this game. It's a, quite a uh, intense part of this game. Like you're gonna be doing a lot of crafting on the spot. And it's, I think it's one of the ways you're going to be like, kind of like making use of the materials you find because you have very limited inventory space. Poppy straw, medical raw material, because okay, so that's a raw material. We're going to use that for crafting later. Um, this is a, might be a mixed bag for some, but um, you can only extract after you've completed the mission. So you can't like say go in and like as soon as things start to feel a little scary, uh, bail. You know, you can't extract, you can't pull out. Um, ooh, there's a, there's a lad there. I'm not sure how to turn. I don't know if there's a way to turn, but
but like there is there, there is directional tactics in this game uh gameplay move, move up move up and right change move mode change move mode i really feel like there would be a way to turn around but it doesn't look like there is can we like right click oh yeah you can right click to to look so one thing we could do um i believe yeah if we hold shift we can shoot that barrel and that will kill that guy it will start a fire that we now have to kind of wait out they say if you know don't mess around with fire Ooh, is there another lad there trainee oh they've also died to the fire this is good maybe it's not maybe maybe that was someone we wanted to keep alive but i doubt it i don't think that this game is uh gonna make much bones about keeping people alive dead can we control click go no i want to look through the other body oh i see there's another one okay so then we can collect these are raw more raw goods um we can we can collect these they also had a, a nail gun this is ammunition okay so we won't pick up the t the nails because that's an ammunition type i don't think we want that but i'll pick up um the tin is there any what is that glory helmet i wouldn't mind having a glory helmet just being careful we don't have a helmet so that'll just go right on our head fits right on our head you know um we don't have space for this so i'm just gonna eat this for now this is a i gotta say one of the few oh we have plastic uh now i gotta make difficult decisions why you gotta make me make difficult decisions game i want i want the plastic um this is one of the few tri like you know roguelikes that have really made me feel like I should slow down and, and play a bit more methodically. It actually reminds me a little bit of Jupiter Hell, but even, like, honestly, this makes me feel even more methodical than Jupiter Hell. Shoot them. Okay, that went really well. We're gonna reload. Um, I'm gonna try to reload, but I might not have enough ammo. What kind of ammo do we need? Oh, 760... 797. So actually, I guess I don't have a lot of ammo. I, I took 9mm bullets like a big dummy. I managed to stun them. You'll see that environments are destructible, which is kind of cool. Ooh, is that a crafting table? Maybe we can do some stuff with the stuff we, we found. If I could find some more ammo, that'd be nice. We got a morphine. Oh, we got a lad over there. Almost... Almost any weapon consumes ammunition and needs to be reloaded. Avoid doing this in the midst of battle because you become vulnerable during the reloading process. Try to find cover. Well, we don't have any ammo, so this is a problem. I'll take this rag. Uh, we have these barrels. These have chemtrail. <laughs> chemtrail toxic ammunition. That's fun. Uh, we've got a furnuncle. Furuncle piece of flesh and some water i guess uh water stacks up to five so we no longer have room for water what do we got here information terminal it's a har you should start f showing results in the internal system as soon as possible you are conducting open combat operations sacrificing many of our call call nodes that could be useful to us at saturn or in our business at trans trans neptunian trans neptunian sites you promise to strike a sensitive blow to realware and reveal the truth about ancom but you did not strike realware and your theory about ancom may be correct you must conduct an immediate review of the state a rational use of resources in your sector i'm not sure uh, i understand what any of that means can we use this crafting yeah we can use this workbench okay so here we go you can see, uh, it, it like, okay, so nails actually are a crafting material. In fact, we could, if we find some explosives, we could make a uh, grenade with it. Repair kit would be kind of nice, but we don't have the means to make that. I don't know what a tactical backpack, what would be the point of having that? Because I think we already have one. But that would be extra room if we didn't have one. We could make some bandages. Um, do we have, we don't have any anti antibiotics. If I had that plastic i can make a splint do i have a splint either way um these are going to consolidate some materials so i crafted a bandage and we used up our cloth 
But the problem right now is I actually don't have a gun now. There's a lot of uh, melee weapons I could take. But I feel like what I should do... These are really good crafting materials. I wish I could take those. What do you mean a saw blade? Lord. Um, hmm. Not sure what I want to do. I, I am, I, I've, I've messed up a little bit here. I think I do want to take the morphine. I guess I'll take, take it over the thread. You got to make some difficult choices, like almost immediately in this game regarding like what you have and what you take. I have a dagger. I don't know if the dagger is going to suit us anymore. I'm trying to find that nail gun. I don't know what happened to the nail gun. This is this is bad. Series of hits. We have um, a hit or a series of hits that have less accuracy. We're going to have to play things melee now, which is not good. Ooh, an eye. Nice. And some skulls. I love that. Yes, this game is, is quite the gore. Quite the gore time. Hope we can find some ammo. We have a another flaming barrel. Let's see. Trying to be careful. This is a good situation for us because if we come across someone, it'll be oh, signatures of stationary turrets and heavily armored call nodes are clearly tracked there. Whatever kills them can kill you too. You are not special and equipment tends to run out. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, so we'll try and find the stairs instead. Oh, is there some wire there? Um, Not sure if I should be picking up food. I, I don't really want to drop our ammo, like what ammo we have. Because if I come across a gun that uses that, it'd be a good idea. Maybe we can just eat this Chick-fil-A and we'll take start taking wire. Do we have a map? We do have a map. Okay, so over there is the elevator. Let's try and find the the stairs that they were mentioning. This is already pretty dire. The fact that I don't have a ranged weapon is is uh, pretty brutal, actually. But not untenable. Not completely untenable, anyway. Armor plate. Oh, repair kit. Our stuff is pretty good, so I'm not too worried about our armor just yet. None of that other stuff we can look at. Let's, um... Uh oh Okay, so we've got a, a lad over there. I'm gonna try and, um, lure them out. I'm just... By lure them out, I mean, like, wait over here. Let's see, do they... I don't think they have a ranged weapon. Yeah, I don't think they have a ranged weapon. Okay, uh, let's do a flurry of blows. Slash, slash, slash. Oh, that did not go well, actually. Let's try it again. Slash, slash. Nice. Okay, that went well. They had a vertical police baton. Uh, I think it is better than our combat knife. I think it is, it is actually quite better. So let's take that. Drop our knife. There's a ledger. Valuable information. Uh, I guess I'll have to take that. I'm gonna have to start dropping stuff. Like medicine. I'll, t I'll drop the tin can. Apparently this is a crafting component. What do we got in here? Antidote and canned food. We'll eat the canned food. Ooh, that guy's got a gun. I want to make sure I'm looking over here. Maybe I can sneak behind him. Huh. 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 I guess you can't do a flurry of blows with a baton. So he had a nine. He has a nine millimeter, and he also has a gun with nine millimeters. So that's kind of nice. I don't want to really lose my assault rifle. But I don't have any means of carrying it with me. So that's kind of a bummer. 
I guess you have two extra slots if you count your quick slots down here. Also, this police baton uh, seems to... It has a very low condition, like the, the little time... The, the uh, very little amount I spent using it, it's already almost dead. I have a crafting material. I need more storage. I'm really trying, but there's... I, I have no, no inventory space to collect anything. Oh, stealthy. Oh, there's a stealthy mode. I could have tried to... I mean, I got... I guess I got very lucky. Um, I, I kind of want to take this with us. I'll drop the wire and I guess I'll drop the poppy straw. Because I, I sense that um, my police baton is going to wear out very soon. Sneakers. I wonder if um, that lends to our sneaky ability. Okay, I'm not really seeing anywhere to go. Okay, there's a whole left side of the facility that I haven't seen. I wonder if I can fast travel at all. Probably not. Also, I like that it shows you what you've searched. Like, it shows you little dots. So you should, should, like, you should t check your map to see if there's, like, collectibles that you've missed. We're in stealth mode right now, which is why I'm probably moving so slowly. Yeah, that is exactly why. Should probably switch to a gun. This would be a good room to back up into and then shoot the barrel. Wow, there's like nothing here, huh? Okay, um, there's still more that I haven't seen yet. This is going to be like the first mission, so undoubtedly uh, this is going to be one of those situations where it's like this mission is actually actually very doable compared to like your standard kind of sandbox stuff. I don't know, like, I'm not sure what the, uh, how procedural this game is, but um, like, I don't know if there's going to be a lot of scripted missions. Uh, or if you're gonna be spending a lot of time like picking missions that like oh, yeah, that looks good and then uh, Okay, this is a, another weapon that uses nine millimeter might be kind of nice, but it takes up two Slots I'm wondering self-loading What would be the benefit of it over our main weapon? It has the same accuracy uh, Higher crit damage lower damage so uh, I'll, I'll pass on that. Oh, we have more, another ledger. Can we, do these stack? They do stack. Okay, so they're just like very purely a uh, crafting material. These stairs leads to the warehouse premises. We have enhanced the resolution capability of the geoscanner. There's a medical supplies and some other equipment there. Use everything and you will uh, easily reach the SD control center. We also have some smuggler's armor. Is this better? Better resistances all around. So let's go ahead and take that and drop that and we also have a rib nice some gasoline i wish there was like a drop off zone that i could like start dumping things off on but i understand that would uh, remove some of the spirit of the game Rogue City is secure enough to prepare messages for routing into the external system. I have successfully infiltrated LBSA as a security guard. Some time ago, there was an attack here by his magnum to extract some important prisoner. I managed to establish that his acted as contractors, or HIS, I suppose, for ANCOM. The chances that my theory is correct have sharply increased. ANCOM is more than just a publisher. Unfortunately, LBSA is now open to attack and its owners will change. I'm not sure if I can continue to provide relevant information. So what is our, what is our current mission? Destroy Rogue City's Station Missile Defense Control Center. Okay, so that's our mission. Evacuation denied until the mission objective is completed. We can't. So we got a med center here. This is a... Got a... Organs container. I mean, that sounds very useful. This little stack was something we've actually got. I'm wondering if it would be good to, like, drop the painkillers and then collect the organ 
container this auto dock will actually help repair us so we know we can come back here in case we're we are in dire need Ooh, lots of workbenches um i wonder if maybe we have more other things we can craft in the future if that's just based on our like current knowledge Ooh, large caliber pistol. Uh, what do I, do I want to take that? I would, I would want to have more ammo for that before I do. Issahar, your demand for more call nodes is outrageous. You work within the internal system. You have Mars at your disposal. You need to manage with available resources and focus on recruitment. Issahar, your... Uh, recent behavior is causing concern. Perhaps too many call notes can lead to disintegration of personality. We will conduct the appropriate research. Remember that the social must always prevail over the personal. Okay, interesting. Oh, we've got explosives. Ah. Uh, if I could make a grenade, it would be really nice. Um, why don't we try... We're going to store this, this, and this on that storage container. We'll take this... And I'm going to do a look around for the materials I need to make a grenade. What I need to make for, or what do I, what I need for grenade is explosives and I believe cloth. Let's see here. No, a tin can and nine mil uh, nails. So if I could like, do I have any food? I don't have like a tin can of food. So if we can find a, like a, a can of food, then I could eat the food and then it would become a normal can and then we can use that to... Ooh. Ow! Ooh, they hit me really good. First priority is to treat the wound. You can use bandages, splints, or even ordinary rags for that. To obtain a rag, tear up any necessary clothing. Auto docks and surgical kits allow you to immediately heal any wound. Um, okay, do we want to do that now? Or do I want to kill this guy first? Training increased to level two. Um, well, let's look at our health. We are, yeah, we've got a knee joint fracture. So we'll put a splint on that. That looks like it'll heal. Stabilized wound. Uh oh, we have someone else coming in here. I think it's better to shoot even if you have a low chance of hitting them because if you can hit them you might stun them we've got some medical glue can we uh, i wish you could use it off the ground but that's fine um heals fractures we'll take this and i guess we don't need it right now but aha cola if we eat this yeah that'll give us a can so now we just need the nails this is a shotgun glass bottle we just need the nails if we can find the nails that'd be good um you know what i'm gonna throw the baton away because it's holding two melee weapons is really not okay there's just an ear on the ground i see van gogh has been through here recently idea of van gogh as a mercenary and he just like he's just like constantly dropping ears but it's a clone of Van Gogh, so it actually kind of makes sense. They just keep cloning Van Gogh, and he keeps dropping ears everywhere. Stop dropping your ear, Van Gogh. No one cares. You don't understand. I loved her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. Uh, we're hungry. Uh, okay. Container. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. We've got lots of storage here, but nothing on the storage. I think that the game does a very good job of like showing like, hey, this thing actually has stuff on it. Um, you know, it'll have stuff on it. <laughs> Ooh, fatty. Uh oh, we have to reload. That takes three turns to reload. Okay, run away while we reload. 
Okay. That went well. Ooh, we have a turret. But it's pointed in the wrong way. I have to assume that that matters. We're hungry. I just ate some chicken goo. What do you want from me? Here, I'll eat some more, like, meat-adjacent products. Can we unload this? Yeah. Cool. I like that little feature. Is this thing going to turn around? Can we, like, stealth it? More. Um, automated targeting system, you're... Try your best not to be in its line of sight. Well, I was just wondering, could we, like, deactivate it? I don't really want to spend resources to, like, uh, destroy it. But if we could, like, deactivate it and then use it ourselves, that'd be kind of nice. <laughs> Lots of guys. Oh no. Blind Fury, all damage increased. Nice. All right, all right, that went very well. We actually have some grenades in here, and I think I see a plasma gun. Um, let's see if we can... Nothing... We didn't really take any damage. But we are hungry. Um, starting to give up on this whole nail situation. We just found some grenades, so I will, for the time being, drop the explosives and can. It's a bit of a bummer. Long blade. Spare parts for repairing a weapon. We got some 797 ammo. I'd like to pick up that. I think it would be a good idea to have... Um, what? The... Oh, I see. That's the max cap. It, to have, like, you know, different kinds of weapon. We, we kind of broaden our range of, of uh, ammo types so that we can pick up something else. This assault rifle would actually be pretty good. Um, we have a drink. I'll eat that. We'll collect this. This can, can this go? Yeah, they'll go on our hot bar. We have another grenade on the floor. Laser pulse rifle. These are really good. Whoa. Oh, I see. We have, weapons can accept more than one ammo type. Okay, that's, that's kind of cool. Can we, so what kind of ammo does this take? Battery. I don't really want to take that. Grenade launcher, though. Oh, we gotta take the grenade launcher. Uh, I'm gonna have some water. And, um... I'm gonna drop the organs. We can come back for them, I suppose. Okay, we just have an assault rifle on the ground, and we actually have the ammo to support it. So, I don't know. I'm, maybe I'm getting a little bit greedy here, but it would be kind of nice to take that as well we have another grenade acid crafting material electromagnetic gun what is what kind of ammo does this use oh it's a sign does it it has a silencer so this is a very stealthy gun well you can disassemble have i have i had that option before yeah can we disassemble like this thing i should unload the ammo and pick it up uh that gives us weapon parts okay so you can you can like really spend time i feel like um with like how i'm gonna say like kind of cumbersome the inventory system is like i really don't have enough room for anything it would be a pain in the butt because you're basically asking the player to like okay juggle all these items like drop a bunch of stuff and then do the crafting with the stuff that you want and then come back here like it's it's a lot um i think that that can feel a little bit daunting unless you have some system of like you know like here here's my idea is like give give me a little robot friend that like carries the stuff um, hear, hear me out, hear me out. Because I understand the spirit of the thing is like, you want 
a low amount of equipment so that you can't have everything at all times. The the robot would only take items for the, like crafting items basically, and you wouldn't be able to leave with it. Like it's a disposable robot and it doesn't come with you. So you 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 keep what you want, craft what you need, uh, but then it's less. It feels a little bit less cumbersome when you have to like craft a bunch of stuff to like drop a bunch of things, pick up a bunch of things. Like it's, it feels like a lot. I'm going to go ahead and use this because I could definitely use a, a pick me up. Is this something? Vertical baton. We could disassemble this in a metal pipe. If I had the sound effect on my board, I would, I would play it here. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff here. It'd be really nice. Maybe, maybe it'll let me do something after I've completed the mission. We've got, we've got a couple of grenades. We've got a lot of grenades. And, oh, there's something there I didn't explore as well. Um, and we've got a turret, so we should be able to accomplish the mission now. Oh, we're still in stealth mode. Um, all right, let's, let's go to the, the big, the big room, the big bad. Oh God, I didn't see it. That actually spooked me. Let's throw a grenade in there and then back off. Uh, I'm going to throw another grenade in there. And shoot this guy. I'm gonna reload and then back off. Ow! Uh, let's throw another grenade. I wanna take advantage of this guy's being stunned. There we go. That was good. Infection. We, we are currently infected. Let's see if we can't deal with that. Nice. Uh, hopefully that will we'll deal with that. It looks like our infection is in fact going up. So it'd be a good idea to um, go and get some meds. The infection is going up. Oh god. Some moods can become infected. To prevent this, use an absorbent or antibiotics. I think I dropped all my antibiotics. I can use a painkiller. All right, that that's just... We're just gonna, you know, never you mind. Man, drop. Come on. Die. Good lord. I'm gonna drop, uh, throw another grenade in there. I noticed the accuracy of throwing a grenade is not like a hundred percent. Okay, there is our turret. Okay, cool. Uh eat this, take these. Unload ammo, take that. Um, we got some batteries. We got a lot of batteries. I'm just gonna eat food. I'm not gonna mess around with that. Legacy, a heavy machine gun. What does this use? More 7, 797. Um, I should probably have used the assault rifle, huh? This is a heavy machine gun. All right, let's, let's, um, take this, unload that. This is, this is a little bit of a nightmare and I am dying. Question mark. Robots dead. You can't disassemble them there. I could use, um, a plasma generator because I, I actually have like enough ammo to make that work. Tell you what, let's put that in there and then let's pick up this, load our weapon, put it in our hotbar, and then like pick up all the batteries. 
it would be a good idea to go downstairs and then like use first of all a health thing and second of all any and all supplies Well, what do we do here? Station elevator, control center. So this is like, the rec this is heading to our actual mission. So we're gonna have to fight more stuff. Finally, you're at the ST control center. It's full of re civil resistance fighters. A bioscanner is reg registering spikes in their endocrine systems. It's madness. Maybe there's a way to bypass them. Pay attention to the technical corridors and ventilation shafts. If you picked up heavy weaponry from the warehouse, you shouldn't have many problems. Once you find their PCO control computer, just destroy it and whatever's at hand. I understand I haven't taken much time to like craft and like, you know, actually do in inventory management. And I think that says something to um, what I'm saying, was saying before is I, I think a couple of quality of life features for like inventory management would be nice. Um, I think you could do it without ruining like the actual balance of the game. But I, I kind of really don't want to juggle around some uh, items to, in order to, to make some stuff. Even if it benefits me. Pathfinder. Oh. Oh, is this just a, a different kind of vest? Is it going to be better? I don't think it is. Mag vest. Oof. Um, we have... I kind of want to... Well, what? Oh, no, put this here. Now switch. Oh, ho, ho, this gun. That was a lot more than I was expecting. Just eat food as you find it. Don't even worry about it. Cosmos, is this more food? Pack of cigarettes, don't take those. Every single game I've ever played, at least in recent memory, that is like... Oh, hey, you found some cigarettes. They will pr provide very temporary relief, and then you are addicted forever. Not saying that's wrong. I'm just saying I don't want to. So we got some medical supplies. Armorer's box repair kit. Uh, they had a circular saw cutter and ammo for said thing, but I don't want to use that just yet. Uh, buckshot bandages. That would be nice. What can we drop for bandages? Let's uh, drink some of this water, drop the rest, pick up these bandages. Can we use those now? Let's use the splint and the bandage. Stabilized wound. Number of counterintelligence agents in the streets of Realware inner city is extremely high. My call nodes are constantly at risk of being exposed. From now on, I'm going to keep one bullet in Liberator for myself. The risk of our secrets failing or falling into the hands of Realware is not justified, especially since this is not our a priority target in the internal system, Ishar. Okay, so what is this? Ladder up. Are we headed straight? Oh, this is back... Is it, oh, this is back down to the crafting place. So we could like take some painkillers. There we go. That's nice. This, uh... Wait, where am I? I feel like something has gone critically wrong. <laughs> I went down an, uh, a... Francis, what the heck is going on? All right, I, the game is still being worked on. Server station. Okay, we need to get over there. The game, it's in early access, and uh, there's going to be problems. Honestly, I think all things considered, it's been relatively bug-free. Ooh. Wow, he took a... He took a... Sh a, a shot right in the face eat the chicken goo eat the the cow goo uh unload ammo and take that we're gonna keep that for the future mechanism station terminal allows you to locate objects personal or elevator use scanner do we just do i use it how do i use it trash oh i see that's those are enemies 
red dots are enemies that I haven't killed yet. Wow, look at how much stuff there is. Plastic trash. Okay, yellow dots are like stuff. Interesting. And then uh, here is our the server station. So let's blow that up. Great job. Pilots begin maneuver as soon as the geoscanner beeps that the rogue city's guns died. Return to the landing dock. We'll be there now. We not only took all the valuables, but also patched up the holes from the boarding sh shuttles in Rogue City. We have had everything we needed for that. Boss, we also found a PCPU with a database belonging to the Am Ancom Corporation. So I guess you just get everything? We'll have to see if that's true. There's a lot of information about quasimorphosis research. They're willing to generously compensate for our expenses in return for such valuable intellectual property. But of course, we made a copy of all the data from their device. Their agent is ready to meet us in Rebus Sky City in order uh, orbit of Mars. Nice. And yeah, we get to just like take everything. Um, but this isn't everything because there is a lot of weapons on the ground. Uh, and I mean, I could have disassembled those and grabbed, you know, crafting materials. I don't think this is even close to everything. Unload all. I think that's just going to, like, unload all of our stuff in our inventory. But this is where you got to, like, kind of choose, like, what do you want your character to have? I'll just, like, dump a couple of things. Keep the uh, batteries and the um, heavy machine gun. I, although, honestly, like, it'd be a good idea to, like, dump one of those. Um, but, yeah, I mean, this is, like, the, this is where, you know, we, we get kind of extraction shooty. Um, which I honestly, I'm surprised it's taken this long. I think that the traditional roguelike format or even like, yeah, I, the traditional, traditional roguelike format is a kind of the perfect playground for an extraction shooter. I think it would be a lot of fun. I'd like, you know, imagine like the combat and stuff of like Jupiter hell, but like you have to, you know, kind of go into a procedural dungeon, uh, shoot some enemies, survive, grab some stuff, come back out, get a little bit stronger and then like take on stronger dungeons. I think that would be a lot of fun. And that's why I was really excited for this. I think this is uh, doing a, a lot of things right. And I'm, I'm excited to see uh, where they go with it. What do you mean stock exchange? This is one of the most powerful indus industrial corporations in the system. Values open proclaim contempt for the purely reputational and investment side of the market uh interesting so we've got like reputation with different factions i love the little profile like the little characterisms in this game are actually really fantastic um and then so these are our different missions we've got a hypnos mission um we've got a canan terminal service station mission i'm not sure owner grass yeah so these like dictate first of all like the kind of reward you're gonna get um, who you're going to benefit and then like how maybe how difficult like it'll tell you what you're what you're getting spacecraft the capacity of our mothership allows us to produce items directly on board to produce most simple items we only need a licensed chip there are examples in history of how one corporation tried to introduce an additional fee for each item produced <laughs> But as a result of the Six Day War, the corporation went bankrupt and all the others refused such monetization. I wonder if this is a commentary on recent events regarding Unity. Because <laughs> it does feel very, very similar. I like that a lot. So uh, this will allow us to craft things on our ship, including ammo. Uh, but it does mean that we have to, you know, bring back with us specific items crafting items and i don't think i got to keep them all i i well I, I don't know weapon parts i did get some weapon parts i don't know it's a like can they disassemble this thing and what did i get i think this game desperately needs a log um not just like in this menu but also in the main camp like the main mission like uh, tell me give me a breakdown like how much did they pen me for how much what did they roll like what did they what did they do? How, did, like, if I missed them, how did I miss them? They flinch out of the way. Did it graze their armor? I think, like, flavor like that makes a big difference for a game like this. 
um and you know like you can you can afford to do that kind of thing because you're not really putting as many resources into like the fidelity the graphical fidelity don't get me wrong it's got it but like it's got it enough that you can also like put more resources into the like writing of the game to the flavor and and make it really robust um but yeah quasi morph is that what it's called now is that yeah Qua quasi morph uh, i'm very excited to play more of this and uh i definitely would like to play more maybe for a series uh definitely i'll be coming back for it maybe when it, there's another update or a couple of updates or 1.0 but we'll uh we'll see if you enjoyed this, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.